Ladies and gentlemen, it has been a while, but nonetheless, we are back on track. Welcome to Setup Wars episode 141, where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. So if you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video linked below. With that said, let the Setup Wars begin. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna hand this over to you right now. This is um, this is your seal of approval. I mean, there's no explanation needed. I mean, look at this setup. Actually, this isn't even a setup. It's a freaking battle station. So yeah, normally I wait to do the episode and then review the pictures and then determine if it's seal of approval worthy. But in this case, I looked at one picture. I'm like, yep. Without a doubt, that is the setup of the gods. So, Epsi, if you're watching this, congratulations. Your seal is ready to get shipped out, so toss me an email. You also get $100 in cash and a tech source t-shirt. So, if you're interested in any of those prizes, again, toss me an email. So, let's try and break this down. Starting from the massive quad display setup. He's using three 38-inch Acer monitors. I mean, these are 3840 by 1600 FreeSync monitors with a 75 hertz refresh rate. And there's a single 29 inch LG ultra wide on top as an overhead. Absolutely mind blowing. The TV up top is a 65 inch 4K TV from LG and surrounding the displays are custom made acoustic panels. Each individual piece sticking out is actually made out of wood that he painted and I gotta say it looks awesome. And that's not the only thing that's custom made. The massive 15 foot desk was built with cable management in mind. Not a single wire is in sight other than the headset cable hanging from underneath the desk. And speaking of cable management, look at where his PC is mounted, all the way on the left side against the wall. And just look how far the PC is from the monitors and his keyboard and mouse. This means that he had to drill a hole in the wall and use extension cables to run it all the way to the back of his desk. This is definitely the cleanest cable work I have seen in a very, very long time. On the massive desk, he's got a white Tesoro Gram keyboard with the Razer Mamba mouse in the middle, and on the far left, he's got his console setup, a white PS4 and the HTC Vive VR headset, while on the right side is a Regal Planner 2 turntable. For audio, he's got two massive R500 floor speakers from Kef on each side, along with a central speaker and a subwoofer, both of which are underneath his desk. If he isn't waking up the neighbors with those massive speakers, he uses the Sennheiser HD558 headphones, which is connected to his PC directly from underneath the desk. And speaking of connecting directly to his PC, he even hooked up a USB hub with an SD card reader under here so it's easy to access. I mean, this guy literally came up with everything. Beautifully executed. I also gotta give huge props to FC for balancing the lighting so well. I mean, he put them in the perfect places to make the setup pop. We got some behind the monitor, underneath the TV stand, and in the corners. I also like both of those custom made base traps on the sides of the wall with the built in lighting as well. It's definitely a nice touch. The icing on the cake has to be the built in 135 inch projector that literally comes down from nowhere. There's a custom slit that he cut in the roof which is where he pulls it out of, and there is no way I would have noticed it if he didn't take a picture of it. As if the 65 inch 4K TV isn't big enough, this guy is rocking a 135 inch projector. Jesus. Powering the beast of a battle station is his PC that's equipped with a 1950X Threadripper, 128 gigs of RAM, and two ASUS Strix 1080 Ti's. For storage, this guy is rocking two 1TB 960 Pro M.2 SSDs. Very, very nice. This is hands down the best setup I have seen on the show and it's gonna be really difficult to beat. We got the master of symmetry, cable management, and creativity right in front of your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Congrats on winning the seal of approval and the key to my heart. And most importantly, thank you for entering. If you guys wanna check out his channel, I'll drop a link below. He also made a video on his setup, so if you guys wanna see how he put it together, make sure to check him out. Rohit is up next with a triple monitor setup which kinda looks like big PS Vitas. 
And uh, actually looking at the notes, it looks like these are PlayStation 3D displays. That actually makes more sense. He's only 16 and this is the setup he uses for mostly editing and casual gaming. What's interesting about this setup are his speakers. Normally people put speakers on top of wall shelves, but he decided to hang them upside down, which is an interesting approach. I'm guessing he did this so that he can run the speaker cable straight down from the center because there's no way to actually route it behind the wall shelf, so that's actually pretty clever. Right smack in the center is a Kylo Ren LED lightsaber and below that we got the Razer Tartarus Chroma keyboard, the Death Adder Chroma mouse, and what in God's name is that a $10 keyboard from Walmart? Surely I've taught you better, Rohit, I am honestly disappointed. There are even some amazing keyboards for around $20 on Amazon. Even if it's temporary, I would recommend getting something like this in the meantime, which I will link below. But a keyboard from Walmart? Why? On the left, we got his PS4 console with two pairs of Astro headsets. The A50s for the PS4 and the A40s for the PC. Personally, I think Astros are overpriced for what they offer, and you could have used that extra money towards something better, but that's just my opinion. Great work with the cable management, we got a Signum holding up all the cables, and there's even a custom shelf built on the other desk to hold up your MacBook Pro. Nicely done. Also on this side, we got a Blue Yeti mic hooked up to a boom arm and his PC that's built inside the S340 Elite. It's got a 7700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and the Gigabyte GTX 1070. There are a lot of things I can recommend for this setup, but since you stated in the notes that you are going to redo your entire setup, I'll just leave it as is until next time. Just don't forget to submit your setup again once it's ready. Thank you Rohit for entering. At number 3 we got Gabriel from Austin, Texas and his setup for gaming and editing. It's a minimalistic setup featuring a 34 inch ultrawide from LG. We also got the Ann Pro compact keyboard and the Razer Death Adder mouse. I know the keyboard is wireless and you can connect it to your PC via Bluetooth, so I'm curious if there is noticeable latency which made you use the wired connection instead. I also feel like that mouse pad is a bit overkill since you have such a small keyboard. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Fluon speakers and the HyperX Cloud 2 gaming headset. Clean work with the cable management under the desk. I can see that you used a raceway to run the cables through and into your PC, which by the way is packed with a 7700K and an EVGA 1080 hybrid GPU, and props on using the AIO sleeving kit from CableMod to hide those nasty black cables. A very clean and minimalistic setup, thank you Gabriel for entering. Up next is Zane from Australia and his gaming and music production setup featuring three 27-inch AOC monitors and a 40-inch TV for console gaming. I mean, it's obvious he's a fan of Star Wars, judging by the wallpaper, the poster on the wall, and all three of the lightsabers around his setup. The desk itself is made from the popular Linman tabletop, which is supported by two Alex drawers. Now, obviously, when you mount three displays like this on a desk and put it in the center, you're gonna get some bowing, as we can clearly see on Zane's desk. I do applaud him for drilling a hole for the keyboard and mouse charger, although I don't know why that Xbox controller is just sitting there. For audio, he's rocking a pair of Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers and the Corsair Void Gaming headset. Really great work with the cable management. The Signum is the MVP once again, and the rest of the wires are sleeved nicely. There is one cable running from the back into his MIDI keyboard. Obviously, I would find another way to route that cable instead of directly underneath the setup, which looks nasty, but I'm positive he knows what he's doing and there's a valid reason for this. All right, so remember when I said that he was a Star Wars fan? Well, I just found out that he has actually way more collectibles throughout his room inside these cabinets. Three full cabinets to be exact. These things probably cost thousands of dollars if he sold it. Last but not least, the PC powering it all has a 7700K, 32 gigs of RAM, and the MSI 1080. It's an awesome setup, no doubt, but it's kind of all over the place. The lightsabers don't have a pattern, the painting is off-center, there's no symmetry, and I feel like the TV is the culprit that's making you put those things like that. I feel like if the TV was centered, then it would be a lot easier to organize, but regardless, if it works, it works. Thank you, Zane, for entering. Wrapping up the episode with some symmetry porn is Jamal and his simple and symmetric setup featuring a 24-inch ASUS monitor and the WASD compact keyboard with the MX Master mouse. For audio, he's rocking a pair of M50X headphones, a Rode NT-USB microphone, and the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers. 
If you ask me, I think that they are in a weird location. I feel like part of the desk is blocking the sound direction. If you don't want to replace the headphone and the mic with the speakers, then maybe you should consider mounting them against the wall using these speaker mounts instead. I promise you, you will definitely hear the difference. The only other thing on the setup is the PC that's underneath the desk, and it's rocking a 6700 and no GPU. But yeah, it's a pretty straightforward black and white setup. Thank you, Jamal, for entering. So ladies and gentlemen, that is it for this episode. Make sure you guys drop your comments and vote on who you think has the best desk setup, although we pretty much know who won already. But anyways, drop your feedback below. Let me know what you guys think about FC setup in the comments section. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Also, make sure to drop a like if you guys missed the series and still enjoy the show. But anyways, I'm out. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys very soon.